Welcome to Type to Learn training video series. This training will cover Type to Learn settings, individual user settings. Once you've signed in as an admin, you want to select your building. If you're signing in as a teacher, then you're going to go directly to your navigation bar and scroll down to Type to Learn settings icon, which is third from the bottom. Once you've selected your Type to Learn setting icon, it's going to bring you to the group setting and user setting tabs. So remember group settings are your classroom settings and user settings are your individual user. So we're going to click on individual user. And then from this tab we need to select the individual students that we want to edit today. So we are going to focus on Sally Johnson's settings in first grade. So we're going to click on Sally and as you can see her name is now highlighted. And Sally is in first grade in Mrs. K's class. And her default settings are young, they're K to 2, there's also intermediate 3 to 6, and older 7 to 12. Sally's general settings, right now we have music and sound effects enabled and we have instructions and narration enabled also. Sally is reading at a third to fourth grade level, so for Sally, we want to adjust her vocabulary level to three to six. Her design level is K to two. There's also the option of grades three to 12, but we want to keep it on K to two. Sally, just like the rest of her class, has an ergonomic break every 10 minutes, and the ergonomic break duration is 60 seconds and you do have the option of adjusting these for individual students. So if you have a student who needs breaks more often or who needs a longer break, you can adjust these for individual students. The next section is our lesson settings. There are 34 lessons within type to learn and if we wanted to, we could prevent Sally from going past a certain lesson. Um, in case she is more advanced typist um, and we want to prevent her from going too far in the program and, and getting too far ahead of her peers. We can set a limit as to how far she can go. The next option is to start at a set lesson and as you can see right now it won't let me do this, it's grayed out. And that is because for Mrs. K's class we have the pretest required. If we wanted Sally to start at a certain lesson, then we would just disable that pretest. And as you can see now, we could start Sally at lesson one or lesson seven if we wanted to. But for first grade, we really want them to have the pretest. We want to know where each student is at. So we're going to go back and just require it. And you're going to see it's going to change back to disabled. For the security check options, for younger students, we recommend errors allowed but can't proceed until type, they type the correct key. Um, you know, a high school freshman, you may want to use 100% accuracy. Um, and then if they don't do 100% accuracy, then they get kicked back and have to start again and do the security check again. Um, but for a first grader, we don't want them to be frustrated and having to keep repeating their work. For hand support, um, we have right now have this in enabled for Sally. And this is the blue hands that will populate on the screen to, um, to give students a visual cue as to, and reminder of where their hands need to be. If we wanted to allow Sally to move faster through the program, we could allow her to skip to the final challenges in each lesson um, as long as we don't have the activities required. Younger lessons A and B, these are recommended for kindergarten through second grade students. So we're going to keep this enabled because we want Sally to have that extra practice. Um, Sally is not using a laptop or Chromebook or wireless keyboard with an iPad, so we don't need to have her skip these two lessons with numeric keypads on them. The next section here under lessons is your goals. So currently Sally and her whole class are using grade goals. 
So grade goals are set goals for each level. So kindergarten through second grade goals are six words per minute and 60% accuracy. Grade goals for third through sixth graders are 15 words per minute and 85% accuracy. And then seventh through 12th grade goals are 20 words per minute and 90% accuracy. We can change this to use assessment goals in which case this will use her pretest and then her formative assessments to adjust her goals. Or we can set our own manual goals and expectations for a group of students or for Sally individually. The next set of settings is our activity settings. So for activity settings, you can allow activities never, in which case they are all turned off and students will not have access to them. You can allow the activities at any time during a lesson or you have to have students complete the lesson and then they are, have access to their activities. There are five activities within each lesson. Big ideas, dig this, drone control, message master, and reconnect. Within each activity you can make them required, which means that students have to complete and pass the activity in order to move on. You can make them all optional, which means that the students don't have to complete them. Or you can make them turned off. If they're turned off, then students will see a red X. If they're required, there'll be a whited out check mark. And if they're optional, then it'll be a blank space there. So for Sally, we're going to make these optional. You also have the ability for drone control and big ideas to change the, the time limits for these activities. And you can disable the metro, metronome if you choose to for dig this. Under the assessment settings, once again, you can disable the pretest. You can also require it or make it optional, and students can choose to take it. There are six formative assessments within type to learn You can disable all of the assessments just by clicking that box. If you choose to use the assessments, then there are some other options for you to select. Within the assessments, you can allow or disable backspacing. So this gives students permission to correct their mistakes. You can allow students to have the ability to pause their assessment if they need to take a break. You can change the amount of time that Type to Learn monitors students during their assessments. You can display a timer for students. And then you can also enable your automatic goal adjustments. So if you're going to use assessment goals in your lessons, then you also want to enable your automatic goal adjustments. We, we've chosen to use grade goals, so we don't want to select this. We want to keep with the set grade goals. And then the last section for settings is accessibility settings. We can adjust the language, so if Sally is an ESL student, we can change this to Spanish. We can adjust font sizes for Sally. We can enable audio rollover, so if she moves the mouse over a set button, it's going to say cancel, or it's going to say begin. And we can change the color schemes for Sally. Once you've made all your changes for your individual user, you always want to make sure you save those changes. And that is how you edit and set up an individual user's settings. Thank you for watching this training video.